What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to speed ramp gaming videos in Final Cut Pro. What I want to do first is zoom in here and I want to move and make sure we have the video skimmer tool enabled. This will just make things a lot easier and I highly suggest you guys disable the audio skimming tool as well because that can be kind of annoying. So, so you guys kind of get an idea of how long this video is. It's going to look like this. Press Command R. What you would do is press R to bring up the range tool. Go to where we were, which is right here. Click and drag. Make your selection of where you want it to end, which is about here. And then go to the retiming option. Go to fast and then hit 20x. The reason I'm hitting 20x is because it's a long clip. If you have a short clip, you might want to do 2x or 4x. Or you might have to slow it down. And from here, I'm going to go back and push play. So now it's going to look like this, super smooth. So now I'm going to go to the second one. Click and drag again on the range tool. Make sure you press R to bring it up uh, about here. And I'm going to go to fast, 20x. You can see it's very quick. And if you bring in these gray bars closer to each other, this will actually make it go faster. These are the ease, ease in and ease out bars. So we're going to bring it in, adjust this as well. And I'm again, press and click and drag, and then I'm gonna go skip all of this. I want it to just get to the very end, or almost to the end, like about here. And then again, go to fast, 20X, because it's a long clip, and then push play. In order to go a little bit faster than just 20X, if you actually click on the down arrow and you go to custom, you can actually change your speed. So right now the set speed is on rate, which is what we want, 2000%. Maybe we wanna do 2800%, click enter. And now if I push play, it's a lot quicker. And then we're gonna do one more. So we're about here, click and drag. And we're gonna go all the way to like here and then just bring this to fast 20X and then adjust the bars here. Perfect, so now if I go and I push play, it's going to look something like this from the very beginning. Now we gotta just sync it to the audio. So now if we push play, you're gonna see it's off sync. Which is weird, right? So what we can do is zoom in and on the gray bars here, just double click on one of them. And you're going to see speed transition, speed transition boxes check. And then the source frame, we're going to click on edit and then just click and drag this. We're going to move that all the way to the first drop, which is here. This should shift the rest of the speed ramp, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to do it manually. I am going to zoom in though and adjust this piece here because it's really short. There we go. So now if I go back and push play, you see it's really short, so I'm gonna make this really long here. Okay, and then the next one, again, double click, click edit, click and drag, and then move this to the next beat, or we can bring it in closer too. I think we're gonna zoom out here. There we go, right here. Bring these gray bars in. Right here, I wanna move the, the last speed ramp over here. So just double click on the first gray bar in, under the source frame, click edit, click and drag this one so that it aligns right here. And then if we wanted to, we can do one last one. Yeah, maybe right here. So again, I'm gonna press R, click and drag, and then I'm just gonna go to the very end, 20X. But that's fine. So it should look something like this. So it's pretty close. I could have, of course, adjusted the timing a little bit better, but you guys kind of get the idea. And then of course, in the end, if you want to tie it all together, we can of course add in like the LUTs, just go over the effects, go to color, add in the custom LUT here. And then I like to use LUTs from my pack on my website, kingtuspro.com. But I'm gonna change this one to Nashville. And I think it just looks really cool. I'm gonna go to the exposure and I'm gonna bring the shadows down and the midtones down a little bit. This way it kind of makes it more of that contrasty look. If you like that contrasty look, if you don't like it, you can just leave it how it is. It just looks so, so cool, as you can see. To get the super cool glitchy finished look, I'm gonna be using Movavi Video Editor 2023, which is today's sponsor. The editing program has a lot of cool effects and transitions that you can use. However, we're gonna be using the Cyberpunk Overlay Pack from the Movavi Effects Store. Once you grab the pack and install it, you can create really cool overlay effects with a click of a button. Just drag your favorite overlay onto your clip in the timeline, and Movavi is great if you don't wanna spend so much time learning the program. Movavi and I want to hook you up this holiday season with a secret gift for the first 20 people that buy a pack with the link in the description. And to sweeten the deal, you also get a 20% discount. Try it for yourself by downloading the Movavi app. 
But that'll be it for this video. If you guys found it helpful at all, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this in the future. And be sure to comment down below if you have any video ideas or suggestions. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.